Well, in just five years, a national financial company is predicting that 25% of the nation's shopping malls will close as more shoppers turn to the Internet instead of brick-and-mortar stores. But here on the Sun Coast, experts say the retail industry is actually thriving. ABC 7's Jess Dowdrick joins us live from University Town Center to explain the key to retail success. Jess. Good evening, Haley and Scott. Malls are getting fuller, storefront rents are getting higher, and retailers are seeing a profit, according to Sarasota commercial realtors. But it isn't because people are going into malls and looking for that perfect outfit like they used to. As a frequent shopper of the Westfield Siesta Key Mall, Bonnie Silvestri has watched the mall change over the past couple of years. The loss of Saks Fifth Avenue, which was the anchor store, the loss of Dillard's has been kind of heartbreaking for that mall, but they're going into this whole regeneration of the mall. That mall is not alone. We're seeing the same trends at Westfield Sarasota Square and the DeSoto Square Mall. Mall in Sarasota, you see a lot more empty, bu empty buildings, so a lot more empty businesses, a lot more empty storefronts. And right now, those are being filled with, with galleries, actually, because you got to make use of the space somehow. It's out with the old and in with the new. That's what some say is the key to the Sun Coast's thriving retail industry. That's what you're starting to find in retail right now is a big shift towards experiences um, versus just show up at the store and buy something. Commercial real estate companies are seeing restaurants drive the retail industry, as well as movie theaters. Going to the mall has become less about shopping. Yeah, it's becoming very specialized, and, and that's what's filling retail. It's that experience. It's that destination. However, some shoppers like William Siff prefer to do their shopping online. Well, with Amazon and eBay and Alibaba, I mean, they bring it right to the condo. And William isn't alone. Millennials are making 54% of their purchases online. Online retailing is, 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 is the buzz right now. And um, while that, that is, there's a lot of it happening, and Amazon's a big player in that, it's only 9% of the retail sales right now are, are online. Expert predictions show that the future is a mix of storefront and online shopping. There's some suggestion that maybe some of the, the storefronts might become really more of outlets for online retailing where somebody can come and maybe experience the good and hold it in, in, in their hands and, and experience it that way, then maybe order it online through the store's website. And it's already happening. Economists say while the Tesla store inside of UTC may not sell a lot of cars, shoppers are checking them out and then buying them elsewhere. Now, as far as why some chain retailers like JCPenney, Sears, and Macy's have been closing some of their store doors, economists say it's because a lot of millennials don't want to shop in the same stores that their parents did and because these shopper stores didn't change with shoppers' demands. Live at University Town Center, Jess Daldrick, ABC7, your Suncoast News.